Hey guys, um, I'm back, um, back from vacation, and back to doing more movie reviews. I really, I really like doing these movie reviews. I'm um, getting a lot of good response from them, and this um, one YouTube user um, suggested that I dedicate my entire YouTube to movie reviews. I'm going to try to keep a majority of my YouTube to movie reviews because I have a lot of movies and I like to, you know, voice my opinion about them. Some of them are good, some of them are bad. I tend to like a lot of bad movies, and you'll know that when I say one of the things I bought in Florida was the Ed Wood box set. And, and if any of you who do not know who Ed Wood is, he is considered one of the worst directors of all time. Directing such bad movies as Planet Action Matter Space, I do have the one sheet poster, um, and the film that I'm about to review today, his first, Glenn or Glenda. Glenn or Glenda is a confusing, thoroughly confusing story about a man who um, is a transvestite. He likes to dress in women's clothing. And he um, tries to tell his fiance the truth. And basically it goes through, like, you know, him trying to tell his girlfriend I'm a transvestite and, you know, all the torment he's going through with trying to tell the truth. And um, it's all told from the point of view of, well, it's told from many point of views. One of them is the, um, the Bella Lugosi character, the kind of like, he's described in the back of the box as the puppet master, who kind of like, he's kind of like a god figure who, you know, controls, you know, I really don't know, like, what the purpose of him is. He's kind of like the narrator, he's kind of like, you know, like I said, the god, kind of like a god figure looking down on all the people. And if any of you have seen the Ed Wood movie directed by um, Tim Burton with Johnny Depp, you'll know the, 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 the pull the string, pull the string line. You know, that's from Glen or Glenda. And, um, and it's also told from the point of view of, like, a psychiatrist and a police lieutenant. It's a very, very puzzling story. And it is released through Image Entertainment and part of the Wade Williams collection, which is the only way you can really see any of Edward movies on uh, DVD, is if you get them released through um, Image, part of the um, Wade Williams collection, as indicated on the front cover here. Well, I, I, I like the movie. Um, I'm an Ed Wood fan. I really cannot shit on him as much as he's already been, you know, trashed and... I really can't talk bad about him. I mean, I like his movies. I think his movies are very entertaining. One thing his movies are not are boring. Many people consider, you know, his movies terrible and boring. They're not boring. If anything, they're fucking entertaining, you know, dude? You get your hours worth of viewing. His movies never really run more than 70-something 70, 70 minutes, so... They're short, they're entertaining, you know, they have somewhat of, a, somewhat of a story to them. I like the movies, I think they're pretty good, you know, I think he's far from, you know, being the worst director of all time, the Golden Turkey Award friggin' book. I, I've never read it, I don't even know, like, if, I think it's a very rare book to get, I mean, I don't really know, I've, I search for it on eBay and, you know, old bookstores, and I can't find it. Yeah, I, I would love to have a copy of it, you know, if anybody can tell me where it could be available from, or where on the internet I can get it from, I would love to have a copy of it. But I like the, it, it's before it's time, this movie, a little bit, you know, it's before, the, like, the sexploitation movies, as I call them, you know, movies like the Rocky Horror Picture Show, and Ellen wasn't on TV yet. But I like the movie, I think it's great, for what it is, it's, you know, one of the first exploitation films, I think. And it's before it's time, like, you know, 1953, you know, early 50s, there's really nothing, you know, big, you know, I mean, yeah, you're coming off of uh, World War II, but, you know, I think that, you know, this is talking about a subject that was kind of controversial, you know, you don't really bring this out into the open, you know, you know transvestites, you know, it's like a hush-hush subject, you know. So, Ed Wood was brave and decided to, you know, market his own... Because Ed Wood was a transvestite. This is 
his own story. He was a transvestite. Yes, he did direct this movie wearing an Angora sweater. And, um... You know, I, I just think it's innovative. And I like it. I really can't trash this movie as more... I mean... I can, I, but I can definitely see why people would think this is a very bad movie. It didn't do anything back in 1953. I hardly think it even grossed anything. But I like it. I give it a shot, alright? Go on with it go on with an open mind, you know. It's an okay movie, just check it out. The next movie I'm gonna review is Ed Wood's most famous movie, one that pretty much everybody knows about. Plan nine from outer space. Coming up next. Thanks.